the Travel Lodge Maiden State Maiden Chase is next. This is another four miler. Uh, not sure we needed this, another four mile maiden. With two more millions of races. Anyway, the top evident prod, Matt Cooper, Foxbridge, Derek Hinton, Honor Code, Paul Rhodes, Shimin de Bonheur for Padre Gogan, Tiama Garland for David Robertson. They're away and racing. Just the five of them then. And they get to the first. We had a really small field in the Moors Millions as well. I think this is a race that could probably be taken away next season. And they get to number two, which they're all safely over. This is already a particularly heavy workload with a few of us that are doing things. And they get to the third. Also got the part of Beaker coming up tomorrow, which is another four mile up. Well, that's four horses in the wall as well. So they get to the fourth. And it's a bonus race, race 40, so maybe we could cut this one out and go back down to 39. Anyway, Foxbridge is in the lead. I'm sure the five trainers in this will be saying, shut up and get on with the commentating, because one of us is going to get a winner. And it's Foxbridge is in the lead. The other argument, of course, would be move it to next week, or to move it to last week, because there was only one form I made in last week, and you could only put one horse in it, so... Anyway, Foxbridge in front. As they get to the fifth, they're all safely over the fifth. With Foxbridge in the lead, Shimin de Bonner is second. Tiana Garland is third. And Honor Code and Evident Brighter fourth and fifth. I do realise, by the way, it's probably only the likes of me and maybe Stu that notice these things as we comment on so many of the races. More people probably only watch their own races, so maybe don't realise that there's sometimes some clashes that could be flagged up as we go along and then eliminated for next year. Changed. Anyway, Foxbridge is the leader. Shimin de Bonner, Tiama Garland, Honor Code, and Evident Pride as they pass the winning post, and they've still got two complete circuits to go. Let's hope they all get round. If they do, they'll all pick up some prize money. For Derek Hinton is four clear and three in a line. On a code, Shimin de Bonner and Tiama Garland. There's a gap of a couple of lengths back to Evident Pride. As they get over the seventh. And also, if we go with that, although Evident Pride is a little bit tidy at the back. And Matt Cooper is potentially the first champion of the season. This is the only rookie in his. Sure to win Rookie of the Year, unless somebody new joins in the transfer window over Christmas. So, even though by then, Matt Cooper might have so many winners, he's so far in front, he's got it sewn up anyway. So, let's see what happens as they get to the ninth, which they're all safely over again. And uh, Foxbridge is in the lead. Well, Derek Hinton back after missing a couple of seasons. Over the 10th, good to see Derek back. He's always got a comment or two to make in the forums, which is good. Uh, glad to see you a little bit healthier these days than you have been over the last, last couple of years as well. And it's Foxbridge in front. I'm um, shimming the Bonner a second. And on a code 30, I'm a guy on fourth. And finally, Evident Pride, who is just a back marker. Over the 11th, as they all get over. Short one to the 12th. Uh, one or two of them gave it quite a bit of air. And the 13th, and they're all safely over the 13th as well. One of the 14th, and Foxbridge is clear by five lengths. Tiara Garland, David Robertson in second, and Shimin de Bonner for Pat Ray Hogan, on a code for Paul Rhodes, and finally Evident Pride for Matt Cooper. So the five of them still going then into the final two miles now. And all still on their feet and jumping okay. Bridge in the lead and Everton Pride at the back has been constants throughout. The other three have been 
alternating positions. And they come up past the stand. Take the 16th. circuit of the track I'll be handing over to Stu after this race we'll take you through the rest of today's jumping card hot footed over to the flat section take you through today's flat racing but it's Foxbridge in the lead on a code in second Shemin de Bonheur third, Tia McGarland is fourth, and Evident Pride is just the back marker as they skip over 17. And they're all still jumping well, they're all still going well, there's only probably eight lengths first to last. They haven't ruled anything out yet. Foxbridge has been in the lead on its own a long time though. They get to the 18th and they're all safely out of that one as well. Shemin de Bonheur just second, on a code third, Tia McGarland fourth, and Evident Pride. In fifth, this is a ditch. Again, all took that really well. Plenty of racing room. Been able to measure up the fences nicely. And a slow jump there by Tiara Garland. And now on a code, he's just been pushed up a little bit closer to Foxbridge, and Foxbridge has been scrubbed along to keep the lead up there inside the final mile. And it's Fox Bridge by a couple of lengths to Honor Code in second. Shimin de Bonheur is third. Tiama Garland being pushed along in fourth. Evident Pride just dropping off the back a little bit in fifth. And Fox Bridge in front still. This is the 21st. And the mistake there was by on a code just as it was coming through the challenge and that's allowed Foxbridge to regain a three length lead. These three fences come up really thick and fast remember and they get over them. Okay, that middle one anyway, they come down towards the next one. This is a ditch, the final ditch and over it they go and they're all safely over that one and now it's Tiama Garland who looks to be going best of all but it's Foxbridge who's in the lead as they get over the third last and again I was a fence in front of myself but it's Foxbridge in the lead from Honor Code and Tiama Garland then Shimin de Bonu, Evident Pride sticking on at the back. They've got four furlongs still to go and they've got two to take in the straight and it's Foxbridge who's been in the lead all the way and he's still four clear from Shimin de Bonu who's moved through into second then Tiama Garland on a code with Evident Pride now back in fifth and a little bit tailed off but it's Foxbridge who's in front Foxbridge at the second last gets over it nicely better jump though by Shimin de Bonu who now comes within half a length Tiama Garland is starting to run on again so too he's on a code they're coming down to the final fence it's going to be all down to the jump in there's just two furlongs to race one more fence to jump and it's Foxbridge who's still in the lead been in the lead all the way from Shimin de Bonu and Tiama Garland these three race up to the final fence virtually in the line over it they go they land together it's still just Foxbridge Shimin de Bonu Tiama Garland, it's three of them in the line as they race up the Asker Hill, they're racing them towards the line now then, and suddenly Foxbridge is beating this Tiama Garland and Shemin de Bonheur Tiama Garland is just about a head in front Tiama Garland from Shemin de Bonheur and it's Tiama Garland who looks like he's going to take it at the line, it's Tiama Garland who wins it, Shemin de Bonheur, second Foxbridge third on a code, fourth, and Evident Pride back in fifth and the automated Scotsman decided to join in at the end I don't know what he was on about, I didn't quite catch him, but maybe he was congratulating his fellow countrymen on that win. Tiama Garland, the winner for David Robertson, Shimin de Bonheur for Padre Hogan was second, Foxbridge for Derek Hinton, the long time leader, was third, Honor Code for Paul Rhodes was fourth, and Evident Pride from Matt Cooper was fifth. I'll pass you over to Stu and scoot off to the flat section. <laughs> 